something new and exciting comes along. And I've got it right here in my hand. This is the new Trips Diver made by Walker. And man, we were really excited about this. Now this style of, of diver called a jet diver or a non-directional diver has been around for a long time in, in a couple different forms. But what's so exciting about this Walker new Trips Diver is this. They've added the trip. So just like a regular dipsy diver, this will actually trip when you get a fish or you release it to reel it in. Now one of the problems with this style diver, non-directional diver, is when you're bringing it in without a fish, is it keeps diving. There is no way to release it. Now, fishermen are pretty um, inventive and they come up with lots of ways to put the different snaps and leaders and things on here to help release it and let it go, but it's just kind of a pain in the rear end to, to have all that stuff kind of hanging there. So Walker went the next step. They took this non-directional style diver and added just a real simple trip mechanism release just like their big dipsy. So this new trips diver is real exciting to fish. Now what's neat about it is we can fish it again with our regular walleye tackle. We don't have to buy heavy stuff, heavy rods, heavy line. 10 or 14 pound mono, 10 pound fire line. This works on our normal walleye fishing gear and also works behind our small offshore planter boards that we love to run. So we don't need heavy gear and we can run this style diver. Great way to get spoons deep, great way to get crawler harnesses to a certain depth, Great way to get crankbaits that, that run very shallow. Behind a leader on these, you can get them down to any depth you want. So the depth control part of this is critical. You add the trip to it for the trips diver, and you've got a really cool new product from Walker called the trips diver. We're going to show you just a second here how to set it up and fish it, but man, we are excited about this. And this setup, all we've done is taken our crankbait, snap the end of our fish line we use on all of our trolling rods. We've attached it to the swivel that's on the trip mechanism. We used a uh, small Phillips screwdriver to adjust the trip mechanism to be the right tension so it's not going to come loose just trolling it's going to take a little bit of pressure from the fish pulling it back or us snapping the rod to get it to release so we got the tension right we have about a six foot leader back to our little warrior or our warrior flutter spoon here that's what we've been running today we're going to get this out and all we do is take this out set the spoon out there and go ahead and get the diver in the water now here's where this trips diver really shines it's a floating diver unlike a mini disc that sinks this actually floats so what we can do here's what we've got we've got a lead core out here on a flat line. This fish, this fish, fish we just caught on this trips diver was actually out to the side on the board. Now what I can do, if I take a, a regular mini disc, it would slide right into my lead cord and create all kinds of problems. So all I can do is take this trips diver, we had it back there about 50 feet, and it's floating. As it goes back, it's on the surface. So I can take that trips diver, let it out there 50 feet to where I need to have it, and get it out there, snap my planer board onto it, when I put my board on it and let it kind of run to the side, what happens is it stays, take the pressure off it, it stays on the surface, goes over my lead core and out to the spread. So you don't have to worry about it digging into your other rod. So real easy to use, really easy to set. I'm fishing my normal walleye tackle here. Say I want to bring this in, if I take the board out, I just give it a snap like that. I've just released the trip mechanism. It's not going to pull tight like a regular floating diver would. It releases. There's no pressure on the rod tip to reel that diver in. If I get a fish, it'll do the same thing. Easy to reel in. And again, to set it, I just simply re-engage the trip mechanism, put it in the water, reel it to the tip of my rod, zero my counter, let it out what I want to. And again, it's, as it goes out, it's going to float. So that's up on top. I'm not going to get caught in my lead core or any of my other rods. I can let it all the way out, snap my planer board onto it, let my board go out. It's going to stay on the surface. The board's going to take it out over top of all my other lines. When it gets to where it wants to go, I engage the reel. It starts to die. I'm at the right depth. I've got my depth control. Try these trips divers. They're real easy to fish with, real fun to fish with. You can catch a lot of fish fishing spoons, collar harnesses, and shell diving crane baits using these new trips divers. Easy to use. Don't be afraid of them. Buy a couple. You catch a lot more fish this summer.